In this video, I'm gonna tell you how can we make live search in Flask, and I also I also will use MySQL for um, live search. So it is gonna be live search, yes, but with database. Okay, so live search with database, and uh, we should use Ajax for um, without refreshing page doing this without refreshing page. So. Uh, I'm gonna also use Ajax. So um, this is. Um, so I'm gonna show you how can we use Flask, MySQL, and jQuery Ajax together. Okay. Firstly, I need a main that main py main Python file. So its name is app.py. Uh, doesn't matter. Also, I, I show I need a folder as templates, and this is my just home page index.html, you know. And yeah, I can start to write my code. Um, firstly, I should improve Flask and um, render template because I'm and I'm gonna call this file, so I'm gonna use render template underscore. And um, okay, we can uh, we can import other things later. <coughs> App equal Flask name. You know, um, I think you know already basic Flask code. So I think not not need that um, I explain this code to you. I'm just write. Um, okay, wrote for index page and just write here hey just write hey because it's for test N not important and I can start my server app dot run debug debug equal to okay and yeah um, I, I just write it here Hey, as a string. So I didn't use this HTML file uh, for the moment. So uh, I can check this code. Is it working? Python uh, app.py and this URL. Yeah, it's working as you see. So I can start to write my uh, other codes. For an example, I can start to edit index.html file firstly my basic html codes okay and mm, not need about details yeah utf6 yeah it's important and as i said in this video begin um i'm gonna use jquery ajax so um i, I should import it I'm gonna copy and paste here, okay. And just um, I need also text box too because I'm gonna do uh, live search, so I should write anything, right? Okay. And ID search live box, okay, live box, okay. And yeah. So I can start to write my. Check your Ajax codes also. It, I'm gonna write them uh, between script tags. And yeah, okay, document ready function. When this file open, uh, here will work. So we, we can test it. Okay, just um, alert a message and. Okay, also I should uh, call this file return render template index.html. Okay, I can start my server again. Open it and oh, wait, I'm gonna uh, open it again. Refresh. Ah, as you see, uh, there is a message because um, I write this code to here and Later, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check if wait wait 
I'm gonna check if this text box have a value. So if user uh, enter any value to this text box, uh, I'm gonna check this. So I'll write here ID and live box and on input function a. I write it to here a because uh, if okay th this is not important actually I'm just uh, checking if um, user will enter any value to this text box okay and um, yes here uh, firstly I should um, get this text text value uh, so I'm I'll write here I'm gonna use a variable as text and I'm gonna get this live box value to this text variable live box live box wow okay just this and we, we can also write this to console if you want just for testing um, F12 open console and refresh it and yeah okay wait there's error what's happening okay sorry my bad I I just forgot this and refresh again and a as you see um, when I enter a new value new character it's writing it to console and I can uh, delete this and yes also I, I can start to write my mysql codes um, so I'm gonna import mysql okay and and uh, write here to your database informations uh, like your database name, password, user, host, blah blah like this. Database name and cursor class because we will use cursor cursor and localhost uh, and uh, I'm gonna use example for this so just mysql in local user root and no password and database uh, what was it I forgot I should check it wait Oh, sorry, my example. Okay, start Apache and MySQL, and you can click here also to go to um, MySQL page admin. Here, yes, memory is words. My database name is this, and words table. Okay, um, memorize words. Okay, mm, yes. Codes are ready, I think. And also, I'm gonna write here and um, route one, route two for uh, my process. Um, my search and methods uh, post and get and that my search okay firstly I should firstly I should okay firstly I should send this value um, this 
live box value to Python but with Ajax because as I said without refreshing page so I can write here my Ajax codes and I'm starting my Ajax method post I'm gonna send that as URL um, live search because uh, it, it this should be same with here here value and because I'm gonna send um, that as to URL and it's calling as live search and yeah it's here okay and data what's my data I'm gonna write here to my data and it's text as you know and um, I'm gonna send this value uh, with text name so guys this is in left side this is um, this is Python's name so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this name in backend and this is my original value in front end so um, I can uh, change names um, text in live box I, I can yeah I hope you understand and I'm gonna use this name in uh, in Python in flask uh, okay I, I'm using it search box it's just my variable name and request firstly I should um, import import request here okay request for get I'm getting data text yeah this should be same with here okay and this should be my value in front end from front end okay and if this is success success function um, yes okay if this is success I'm gonna write here my result uh, from returning returning from app.py and okay uh, I can write here to my uh, MySQL queries just uh, cursor and uh, I'm opening my MySQL connection sorry correction cursor and query and actually these informations and my query here uh, this is not important and doesn't matter you you can uh, write your um, codes queries uh, this doesn't matter not matter and my query is select wording from words you so my uh, database and table where word and like this is important and order by word okay format um, search box yeah, search box okay and I'm executing this query result and sorry and I am uh, I'm, I'm sending this result to index.html with um, using JSON fee so I'm also I'm gonna also import it JSON fee okay and return JSON fee as JSON fee this result okay my backend is ready and for here uh, I am gonna write my just right here um, result and probably it is um, okay I can just write here just res but I can edit this later open my thing 
and open console because I write this data to console I should check it and okay sorry again as you see it's working um, I write it to here A and uh, it's coming words what is starting with A you know if I write it here uh, A B you can just A B uh, verbs which is starting with A B you know you can see this here too just three words okay and also as I said you can edit this information um, for an example uh, I'm gonna check it. I, I I'm not sure is it working. No, wait. Okay, I just um, write it to here a, a each loop for um, write my data as as regularly. We can check it again. I did I see save it. Okay, um, just check it. Okay, as this and. We, like this you can use this or, or you can write your code whatever it's not important um, okay guys thanks for watching also you can uh, find these codes um, under this video in description part just check it check there and see you later